percentiles of a group data. So for example, we are asked to find the value of P sub 35 or the 35th percentile of our group data. So ang step natin ay fix lang naman. So syempre, dapat alam natin yung formula and then next is to accomplish our table. So sa table natin, since we have class limits and frequency, yung next thing lalagay natin is yung value of x sub lb. Again, ito ay optional lamang, okay? So, may mga ibang solution na din na siya sinasali kasi x sub lb is just our lower class boundary. So, yun lang yung value na nasa gitna ng ating mga class limits. For example, sa limit of 100 to 105 at limit of 106 to 111. So, ano yung value na nagalay sa gitna nila? Okay? So, yun lang yung pinag-uusapan doon. So, yung technique is to simply subtract 0.5 sa ating mas maliit na um, value sa ating limit. So, for example, sa 100 to 105, yung smaller value dun ay 100. So, subtract lang tayo ng 0.5 sa kanya. Okay? So, 100 minus 0.5, that is 99.5. And then, the rest will follow. So, subtract mo lang siya lagi ng 0.5. So, for 106, we have 105.5. For 112, we have 111.5. 118, we have 117.5. 123.5 for 124. And 129.5 para kay 130. Okay, so yun yung pinaka-first step natin. So next, since nare-require tayo sa ating formula na maglagay ng cumulative frequency before your percentile class, syempre, kailangan muna natin ng value of our cumulative frequencies. So ang technique dito is we need to identify our smaller limit or yung pinakamalit na value sa ating class limits. So dito. So pwede ka kasing kumopya ng frequency sa pinakababa or pinakataas pero ang magdidikta nun is na kanina yung pinakamalit na value. Since yung pinakamalit na value sa ating class limits ay nasa pinakaunahan and then yung frequency ng pinakaunang limit natin ay value of 9. Ibig sabihin, dun tayo magisimulang mag-add ng frequencies. Okay? So ang unang gagawin, copyhin lang yung frequency niya. That is the value of 9. And then, i-add mo siya sa mga susunod na frequency na meron tayo. So, 9 plus 7, that is 16. 16 plus 8, that is 24. 24 plus 9, that is 33. 33 plus 7, that is 40. And then, 40 plus 10, that is equals to 50. Now, kung gusto mong i-double check yung cumulative frequencies mo, dapat yung pinakahuling value mo sa cumulative frequency ay equal sa value of n or total number of observations mo. Kapag equal sila, that means tama na ang iyong um, cumulative frequencies. Okay? Tama na lahat yan. So, after mo ma-accomplish yung iyong table, since we're asked to determine or find the value of P sub 35, isulat natin yung formula natin. So, ang formula again is P sub 35 or P sub K, okay, that is equals to X sub LB or the lower class boundary plus the value of I or the class interval times the value of N times K divided by 100. So, we divide the value of N and K kay 100 kasi under tayo ng percentile sa problem na to. So, kapag binago natin yun, for example, divided by 4, that is 4 quartiles. At kapag divided by 10 naman, yun naman ay ginagamit for decile. So, subtract natin yung cumulative frequency or CF sub B. That is the cumulative frequency before our percentile class. And then, i-divide natin to sa frequency ng ating percentile class or F sub PK. Now, since na-mention na yung percentile class natin, yun yung next natin na hahanapin. So, gagamitin natin yung portion na to ng ating formula para mahanap yung ating pinaka-percentile class. Okay? So, since P sub 35 yung hinahanap natin, so let's write P sub 35. So, P sub 35 is equals to, let's use our formula, that is N times K all over 100. Okay? And then, yung N natin ay 50, therefore that is equals to 50 times K. The value of K is 35 and that is divided by 100. So, simplify lang natin siya <coughs> para makuha natin yung pinaka value sa ating problem. So, 50 times 35 divided by 100. So, ang value ay equals to um 17.5. I guess that is the value. Okay? So, yung 17.5 dito is um, siya yung magiging pinaka Q natin kung nasaan yung ating tinatawag na percentile class. Okay? So, hahanapin natin sa ating cumulative frequencies kung sino yung pinakamalapit at kung kaninong value siya na under. Okay? So, kaninong under yung value of 17.5. So, for example, yung value of 9 sa ating cumulative frequency, ang cover niya ay values from 9 up to 1 or 0. Okay? Yung cover naman ng second cumulative frequency natin, which is 16, that is a value of 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, hanggang dun lang. Kasi yung 9, another cumulative frequency na yun. So that means, ang pinaka nearest value dito at cover sa ating mismo cumulative frequency ay yung value of 24. Okay? 
si 24 ay na-cover niya or under lang niya si value of 17.5. That means, yung part na to, okay, yung pinaka-crosser na to, yung magsiserve as our percentile class. Okay, lahat ng values na meron dito, yun yung mga lalabas sa ating pinaka-formula. Okay, yung naka-highlight sa ating mga screen ngayon ng yellow. Now, para mas makuha natin na maayos yung ating problem or yung mga sagot natin, so isulot muna natin yung pinaka-given natin. Again, ang limit natin, so under tayo sa limit of 112 up to 117. So, dapat yung sagot na makukuha natin ay dyan lang um, naglalaro. Okay? So, sa values na yan, dapat dyan lang siya nakalagay or dyan lang siya belong. So, yung next natin is yung value of X sub LB or the lower class boundary. Titin na lang natin sa ating table. So, yung X sub LB natin na ito, so, ang value dyan ay 111.5. So, copy na natin. So, we have 111.5. Next is your cumulative frequency, CF sub B, okay, before our percentile class. So, ang percentile class natin, ang cumulative frequency niya ay 24. So, ano yung value before 24? So, obviously, yung mas mababa sa kanya, that is the value of 16, okay? So, dagil lang natin yung 16. And the next is our frequency. So, ang frequency natin na sa table lang. So, ang frequency natin na naka-highlight dito is yung value of 8. So, let's copy the value of 8. And then last is the value of i, or the class um, size of our class interval. So, yung i natin, again, yung i value, okay, tinatanong niya kung ilang number meron, or numbers, okay, meron sa ating class limits. For example, 100 to 105, ilang numbers meron doon? So, ang iba, ang ginagawa ng technique is sinusubtract nila yung kanilang um, values, okay? For example, 105 minus 100, so ang answer ay 5, okay? Pero hindi yun yung sagot. So, ang kailangan natin, kung gusto mong gamitin yung technique na pag subtract draw kailangan mo mag-add ng 1 sa yung final answer. Kaya, 105 minus 100, that is equals to 5, plus 1, that means we have 6 numbers sa ating class limits. Okay? So, since kompleto na yung ating mga values sa ating formula, so yung next step mo is to substitute the values. Okay? Therefore, P sub 35 is equals to, okay, yung first um, variable natin is X sub LB, so that is 111.5 plus the value of i. So, add natin yung value of i or class interval that is equal to 6 according to our given values. Okay, tapos, i-multiply natin siya okay, sa ating n times k. Okay, multiply kay n times k all over 100. So, according sa ating previous solution na solve natin kanina yan, ang value ng n times k all over 100 ay 17.5. So, isulat lang natin yung 17.5. Copyin na natin. So, we have 17.5 minus, okay, this time, subtract natin si cumulative frequency before. Okay, subtract na natin siya. So, ang cumulative frequency before natin ay the value of 16. So, we have minus 16, okay, divided by the frequency, okay? So, what is our frequency? So, according sa ating table, ang value ng frequency natin ay value of 8. Right? So, that is equals to 8. So, divide natin siya kay value of 8. Now, Ito na yung pinaka magiging working equation natin. Okay, so dito maging careful lang tayo kasi pag sinimplify natin siya, dapat magkakasunod-sunod siya or gagamit pa rin tayo ng PEMDA. So dito we have 17.5. Okay, subtract lang natin siya kay value of 16. So ang value is 1.5, tapos di-divide natin siya kay value of 8. And then dun pa lang natin siya i-multiply kay 6. And then next is to add the value kay 111.5. Okay, so yung answer dito is, okay, therefore, the value of P sub 35. So, if you want to simplify this one, gamit yung calculator natin. So, ito ay equal kay um, 112.625 or approximately equals to the value of 113. And that's it. So, that is our final answer. Thank you and God bless.